Okay, addition is this, is if the signs are the same, then take the common signs and add the numbers. Okay, can we do an example? Please? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay, so we all know if we had three plus five. Okay. That's eight. Okay. Likewise, if we had eight plus nine, 17. Um, eight plus one is nine, so that's, now that's all pluses. What if we had negative three minus five? That'll be negative eight. Yeah, since they're both negative, take the sign and add the numbers. So that's addition. If the signs are the same, take the sign, combine them. Because the reason I teach my classes this way is because this little sign right there will ruin your day. Okay. That negative sign. So let's get rid of the negatives first, and then we'll make it much easier. All righty. Subtraction. Subtraction is just the opposite. It says, if the signs are different, then take the sign of the larger. of the larger number and subtract the numbers. If the signs are different, take the sign of the larger number and subtract the numbers. Five minus two. Because think about it. it goes with this rule here. Which number is bigger, five or two? Five. And it's positive. So the answer is positive. Okay. Subtract five minus two. If we had negative two plus six, is the answer going to be positive or negative? Negative. Which number I mean, is bigger, six or two? Six. Six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what confuses me because I'm like, is it the negative that's bigger or the six? No, no, it's just the numbers, just the numbers okay. itself. Okay, okay. Then once you find the bigger number, look whatever signs in front of it. What whatever signs in front of it. If there's nothing there, it's it's a plus. Okay. So we know the answer is positive. So subtract six minus two is, is four. four. Negative eight plus three. Is the answer going to be positive or negative? Negative. Yeah, because eight's bigger. So now eight minus three is negative five. Mm -hmm. Six minus nineteen. Are you asking me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, six minus. So it'll be a negative number, correct? Right. Um, then we just do 19 minus 6. 13? 9 minus 6. Yep. Negative 13? Yep. That's that's the rules of adding and subtracting. Oh, okay. okay. I thought I was like, I saw the one where you um, stack them. So I was like, maybe it's a positive, but no. Because the no. negative is in front of the 19. Yeah, so, so do the neg do positive or negative first and take the bigger number minus the smaller number. So, okay, I don't have to do the things where she did the line and then the numbers in the line. Oh, God. No, because they never have we discussed what absolute values really were. Because okay. we're going to talk about that later on in this course. There's a whole bunch of rules about absolute values. And yet, for their examples, in chapter one, section one, they go ahead and throw, here's an absolute value. Well, what is an absolute value? 
Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. So I, I think I thought that's enough. totally ridiculous. And All these right. are the basic rules. Uh, now, signs with multiplication and division. Multiplication and division. Because we, all, we know how to multiply and divide. Here's yes. the here's a question. If you have an odd number of negative signs, the answer will be negative. If you have an even number of negative signs, the answer will be positive. Now, you want to know that... the basic rule. Okay, now, the reason, the easiest way, you could just even forget all this, the easiest way to think about it, if I had negative three times four, how many negatives are there? One. Yeah, how many, how many lines does it make to take that make that sign? One. Um, okay. One. How many lines does it take to make this sign? One. No, it takes one horizontal oh. and one vertical, so it takes two okay. two lines. Okay. Yeah. So if I had negative three times negative four, it'll be positive. Yeah, because this well, and this becomes positive. Positive um, twelve exactly. Okay. Okay. Since I only have one, the answer is negative. Now multiply the numbers. Upon uh, negative, so yeah. It, it works. It works the same. Just tell me if the answer is going to be positive or negative. Mm, the top is going to be po well. It's going to be positive. Yeah, because now whenever you have division, just count all of them: one, two, three, four. Since it's an even number, the answer is positive. That's all. Now we just worry about the numbers. Now, how were you taught to do division? Um. The biggest number goes on top and the smallest on the bottom? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So whenever you have an equation like this, a whole bunch of different ones. Oh, let me get that. Hold on. Alrighty. My whole, I'm in a meeting right now. Yeah. Both of them. Just drop him off over there, give, give him his, and I'll see you when I get there. All right, thank you. Bye. Sorry about that. Okay. okay. So, once you worry about the signs, because you notice there's no plus or minus here anywhere. This is not a plus or minus, it's a negative sign because it's inside the parentheses. Okay. Now, some people were taught, okay, once you get, once you worry about the signs, Worry, multiply all the top, multiply all the bottom, and then cancel? No. Because it's going to be something huge. It's going to be 20 times 6. It's going to be 120 over 240. So that's too much work. Yeah. It's easier this way. Before you multiply, since you're all multiplying and dividing, cancel. We know we got, okay, we got rid of the signs already. So these are all gone. That's where this came from. Okay. So we just worry about the numbers. Can anything on top cancel with anything on the bottom? Uh, the four. The four. Okay, that's gone. What else? And the two. The two. And the five. And the five. 
So what do we have left? Mm, the six and the three. That's three is on top, six is on the bottom. Can you simplify that? Uh, yes, two, I mean, yeah, one, three. I mean, yeah, right, one, three. <clears throat> no, one, two, I'm so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> so that's three, <laughs> three times one, that's three times two. The threes cancel, so we have left, our answer is one. Uh, so this whole big number became that without doing anything difficult. So that's the answer? Mm-hmm. What? That's okay. That was pretty fast. And that's all there is to it. It's just that teachers in high school, junior high, elementary school make it much more difficult than it is supposed to be. Yes. <laughs> it's not supposed to be that tough. It's just that straightforward. Hmm. Okay. I'll show, let's do another one. I'm going to give you a big one. Goodness. I'm not ready. <laughs> Yep, I am not ready for this. Tr trust me, you are. Time to leave the chat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, do take it. Okay, yeah, because a lot of people are afraid of this, but take a step back. Remember, first step is do what? Okay, look at the signs. Yes, um, so is the answer going to be positive or negative? Negative. Ooh. Okay, we have one, two, Ooh. three, four, five, five six. six. Uh -huh. It has six, so six odd or even? Six odd. Well, there's one even. Oh, well, two even and three odd. No. Was always a, okay, we have six negatives, right? Am six I... is even. Oh, wait, I lied. There's three. Okay. There's three on top, three on the bottom. Yes. Or if you want to, just start crossing them out. This one cancels with this one. This one cancels with this one. This one cancels with this one. So the answer is going to be positive. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Because remember, I asked you earlier how many si lines does it take to make a negative? It takes one line. It takes two lines to make a plus. To make a positive. Uh -huh. So that's why whenever you see two of them, it becomes a plus. Cancel it. Two of them becomes a plus. Okay, I didn't think I could do that, so I was just like, yeah, no. it's okay. because now because these are all multiplied, this becomes one big equation. Just because it's being multiplied, correct? That's exactly right. Okay. okay. Let me write that down. All righty. So, okay, so that's the first thing is first step. First step, get rid of the signs. That's the first thing we did. Because once we get rid of the signs, now it's just numbers. Second step, oop, that was out of bullets, so I have your pen. Second step, reduce. Reduce. Yeah. Cancel anything on top with or by anything on the bottom. So can anything cancel? Um, does it matter? Can I do like cancel out both the fours at the bottom? No, no. It's anything on top and bottom. It has okay. to if you can cancel. It has to cancel something on top. On because these two are multiplied. On top and bottom they cancel. Okay, so only on top. 
or the bottom. Yeah. Um, no. No. <clears throat> really? Yeah, how, does three and nine have anything in common? I was thinking about it, but I was like, no, maybe I'm wrong. No. Yes, it'll be one third. If, yeah, because that goes in there once, that goes in there three times. So it's one third. Okay. How okay. About 10 and 15. Um, 10 and 15, that'll be three. Uh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so no, sorry. No, 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 no. That's why we're in this class. I mean, do never, never apologize. Never apologize. I will never, ever think less of you. So it'll be two fifths, two thirds, maybe? Two thirds, yeah. Because five goes in here twice and five goes in here three times. Okay. So one third and then two. Okay, how now? 16 and 25 can't. Can 25 and 5 cancel? Yes. Yeah. So it'll be one fifth? Yep. Now, how about 16 and these two fours? 16, it'll be two. It'll be, um, I'm sorry. No, four goes one in. One four? No. Four goes into four once. Four goes into 16 how many times? Four times. Four times. So that gets rid of that one. How about this one? Um, one and four times. No. Oh, oh, wow. OK. I see what you did. So uh, let's look I at what we have on top. One times one times two times one. So it's two on top. Five times three is Biggie out. Five times three is fifteen. Boom. Times three. Fifteen times three. So can two get cancel with anything here? Uh no. No. So our final answer is two over forty three. Forty five. Plus oh, 15, okay. yeah, 15 times 3. Oh, yes. Hello. <laughs> there. No, and there's your answer. It doesn't matter how big or small the numbers are. It's always the same process. Okay. Um, Want to do another one? Yes. Let me just make sure I have everything written down. Mm. Oh, I forgot to change this. Okay, now, um, so the sec we have two four, right? right? So, um, with the first one we did the we reduced the four and the sixteen, and we got one four. Then yes. you did the four and the other four. Yep. Okay, I see now. You could have combined these two four times four is sixteen, and sixteen and sixteen cancel. Oh yes. Okay. So, so okay, now with the same numbers, let's look at the same numbers. Let me show you basically what's really going on here. This is after we got rid of all the signs. No, oh, this is nine. Okay, whenever you have that, the first thing you really should do, what is 16 made up of? Four and four. Four and four. So we'll put four and four. Three is made up of three. Ten is made up of two and five. One is there. Five is there. What's 25 made up of? Five and five. Nine. Three and three. Fifteen. Uh, three and five. Four. Two and two. And the other four. Two and two. Right. We broke it down to its smallest pieces. Now just cross out whatever you have. Already one moment. Three and three, three and five, two. Because okay, if you want to, um, you could break down these fours into two twos. And so we can cancel those out, correct? Yeah, here's some two times two, 
two times two. Yeah, those are these fours. So yeah, we can cancel this two with this two. That one, that one, that one. These fives can cancel. Mm -hmm. These threes. So both fives can, only one five can cancel or yeah, both? Because there's only one five on top, it can only cancel with one five here. Okay. And this this one five here cancels with one five. Correct. Okay. And then one three, one three. And I think that is it. Yep. And all we have left is, is two, two, three, five, two, three. And the same answer. And the answer will be two forty five? Two over forty five, yep. Oh, okay. The hardest part is breaking down, knowing your multiplication tables. That's the hardest part of doing this stuff. Okay, I see. I'm understanding now. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> you won't see questions this big in your homework, but that's all there is to it. Let me, show you, let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me show you. See, think about division and multiplication. They have their own set of rules. A, a question that has addition has to have that sign. A question that's subtraction has to have that sign. But when it comes to multiplication, it doesn't need anything between there. Or it could have a dot, or it could have a, an X. Multiplication can look at any one of these. Division is the same with complexity. Two over three is the same as mm. two divided by three. I hate the fraction part. Well, when yeah, have... we're going to cover the fractions later. But the fractions are much e much easier. Once, once you understand how they work, it's super, super, super simple. So this is very important. First off is know what type of symbols are you using? If there's nothing between there, then it's multiplied. Eventually, we'll start using variables. Excuse me? <laughs> well, for example, if I had some can number of candies and I gave away three. Oh, I think I, yeah, I think we call it. And I have, yeah, and I have nine candies left. How many candies did I start off with? Um, six? We want to no, get the X by itself. How do we get rid of three? What makes, what gets rid of negative three? Um, add it to the nine. Yeah, a positive three. We have to do it to both sides. Think of a seesaw. It's a seesaw. Whatever I put on 12? one side. Yeah, so x is equal to 12. A seesaw. Okay. Hmm. That's not bad. This is not bad. <laughs> no, no. I mean, even if it comes to adding or subtracting fractions. Oh, that's the worst. No, it's not. You like you like butterflies? Yes. Okay, let's draw a butterfly. Let's draw a butterfly. So far, so good. Yes. Now, see this body, this wing here. Multiply okay. it. Four times eight. two is what? Eight. Eight. Uh huh. And then this one, three times one. Is three. Is three. This sign goes between there. Eight plus three is? Eleven. Mm hmm And the bottom part, since it's connected, multiply it's them. Twelve. There's your answer. Oh, wow. Hmm. It it's always works that way. Let's say we had two-fifths 
plus four sevenths. Whenever you add subtract fractions, negative two plus four sevenths. Okay. So what goes here? Um, negative 14. What goes here? 20. So the top part is negative 14, whatever this sign is, and that number. That goes on top. What goes on the bottom? Uh, 35. OK. Add the top. It'll be positive six. That's it. They're over 35, yes. Mm -hmm. And since 35 is made up of seven times five, can't go into six, we can't simplify. Oh, OK. So that's adding and subtracting fractions. We talked about how to multiply fractions. And the last thing we have to do is dividing fractions. Four fifths divided by two tenths. Okay. Okay. So the first thing you do, take the first number, leave it alone. Change that from division to multiplication. And flip the second one. And over to you. Mm -hmm. Now what cancels? Um, the two and the four. Two and the four, leaving two on top. What else? And the 10 and 5, leaving 5? Oh, 2. There's 5 goes oh, on 10 yeah. twice. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So, in other words, if you have to, if you have to break it down, 4 is 2 times 2, 10 is 2 times 5, 5 is 1 times 5, 2 is 1 times 2. Mm. So now, the fives cancel, the twos cancel. So all we have left is two over four one. on top. Over one, four. which is four. Plus two times two is four. Oh, okay, yes. Oh, let me see. Okay, so times two, one and two, two and five, and then just Pencil this, pencil this, one, one. Let me give you another one. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna put numbers bigger now. No. I love you too, how are you? All right, okay. So always leave the first one alone. Change the division to multiplication. Now, I have a question about that. Mm -hmm. So if it were multiplication, we would leave the sign alone? Well, they're all positive. Yeah, so leave the sign alone. Now, if this is multiplication, then we just cancel top and bottom. Oh, okay, I see. But since it's division, we have to get rid of division to multiplication. So what goes over here? Um, five over six. Mm -hmm. And then we cancel out um, five and 15, which becomes, um, let me see. Um, uh, hold on, I'm breaking it down. No, yeah, what's 15? 15 is made up of? 
Three and five. So the fives cancel? Yes. You're left with three. And then the 12 is made up of six and two. And the twos cancel? Uh, sixes. And, oh, the six. Wow. And that's a three, by the way, not a two. Okay. So your final answer is? Oh, this is a bit. Let me see. It'll be two over three. Very good. Okay, I understand your work. Then let me just slow down really quick. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going pretty quick because the way you were taught in the past was not to your favor. So I'm, I have I deal first off with trying to make you forget, and that's the reason I don't like when people use PEMDAS. Oh, yeah, I don't. I cool. hate PEMDAS with all passion. Oh, oh, okay. I see now. I see the work. You see that? I mean, and that's that's the whole process. I mean, you pretty much covered the first chapter. Alrighty. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this weekend. Is I'm gonna sit down and go through each section of the chapter and have a short two or three minute video on how to do each one. And then I'm gonna go through the homework assignments and start doing the work step by step procedures on how to solve them. Yeah, like sometimes on the homework, um, like if I'm confused on a question, um, I saw that they have like a help me button. So you go to skill builder and there's like a help me button, help me solve mm -hmm. on the skill builder. Yeah, and I I use it on one of the questions because it was a bit difficult and it helped me. Excellent, yeah. So, I mean, and that should be my job. I, I should be the one teaching y'all. This is... I mean, I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. It's just that so many people, I mean, when I ask for what's the best time for everybody to meet, I have people saying, okay, I can only meet Monday and Friday or Saturday at after 12. I can only meet in evening times. I mean, I that's why I'm put together the best schedule. Yeah, like I work at the animal hospital and they, um, they're not really set on schedules. Um, they just go based off the... What are they called? Appointments. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they just schedule our, they do our schedule. Yeah. Off that. Not a problem. I mean, I said for the next five, 10 weeks, my time is yours. Um. So did you guys ever do the Zoom meetings or? The well, one no, we, had one, we had one Zoom meeting. It's just that now I asked everybody when the best time for them to meet. I have to compile all the 78 responses I got to see when the best time is to have it. I mean, I'm going to have to have morning, evening, and weekend meetings with everybody, which is not a problem. Yeah, I would say um, the the weekends as well. But on the weekends, um, well, basically almost every day I get off at um, 6. So I go in at 7.30, so I really can't do the morning. Right. And then I get off at 6, 6.30. Okay, which sounds like the best thing is an, an evening time. Yes. So yeah, a lot of people don't get off work till five thirty, six o'clock. Also, so that's not a problem. Okay. Yeah. So I will let everybody know this weekend what the schedule is. And besides that, if you can't make the schedules I have, then just we can always meet our own schedule. And I don't mind repeating myself twenty times. If everybody has a different time, I don't mind that at all. Alrighty. And for the Monday, like, are you going to make a folder for the videos, or you're just going to email them to us, or? No, I, yeah, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you all a piece of paper, a a link that has two things. It has the name of the, the, the chapter of the question. It has a, a link. You just click it. But if you want to print it out and take it to work, I'll also have a QR code where you can use your cell phone, take a picture of it, and watch the video there. Oh, okay. Because that way you don't have to be at your computer. You could do it with your cell phone. All righty. That sounds good. So yeah, okay. that's that's my goal, and that's, that's why I'm gonna spend as much time as I can. Fortunately, I only have two set classes this summer, but it's multiple um, copies of it. Yeah, and that's why I'm, my goal is try to get it all all done, so you guys will have the lectures already preset. 
Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I will do. And again, if if there's anything else I can do, or, or you want me to do, and to, to publish, or if I give you too many homework assignments, tell me. I mean, I didn't know. To be honest with you, I didn't <laughs> know half that stuff that the that the system put in there. Actually, I wasn't even bothered by it. I was just like, oh, wow, okay, well, this is what's going to get done. And all of it's not due until July 1st. I mean, of course, I wasn't going to do all the assignments last minute because I still need to watch videos and refresh my mind on these things. See, and th that's the whole thing. If you have time, and if you don't want to watch a whole series of them, if you get if you get behind, then that's where I come in. Just by going through a lecture, I can... I can go through a series of five or six videos in less than 20 minutes and it's much easier by question, answer, question, answers. Videos are good if you have the time and you have a basic understanding, but if you have any questions, you can't ask the video. Mm -hmm. And that's why I come in. So again, do not ever hesitate if you, if you need a zoom meeting or even just, if it's just a quick question about a, a problem that you're having online, send me a remind message and I'll respond to it. Alrighty, I got it. Sometimes I was like, should I should I email? Should I text? And I'm like, oh, I don't want to bother. Because I know you say that you're always available whenever you're awake or not busy. But it's just, I know you have your own life. So I try no, no, to trust work. me. That's what August or December is about. I mean, I know exactly what it means to be a student. Uh, and again, this is not easy. Math is not a fun subject for anybody. So the, the more stress and more pressure I could take off y'all's back, the easier it is and the faster you get through with it. Okay. So, I mean, I, I've been talking to students till literally the one, two o'clock in the morning, because as long as I'm awake, I will answer. If I'm not awake, I'll do the first thing in the morning. Darn, until one o'clock or two? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, but if, again, if, if I get it, if the questions are logical, instead of, well, I'm trying to take a test and I can't do this, help me. No, I said, okay, what did you do? Let me see the work you've done before. I, I'm, I'm, I'll help you through it, but I want to see what you've done first. Um, okay, so I, I have a question about the work. So the work that we are submitting, we're emailing it to 